Hey guys, what's going on? It's Thomas of here. Welcome to this quick video of Angelic Buster showing you guys some combinations you can pull off with Angelic Buster. Now, first job has none because all you can do is charge up your Soul Charge and use your Star Bubble. Uh, second job over here, however, does have a combination using both Pink Pummel and Lovely Sting, which is both in second job. Now, all you have to do for this combination, it works with more monsters because uh, more monsters there are, the more damage it does. So, first of all, all you have to do is Pink Pummel to one side of the map then spam your lovely sting and blow it up now how this skill works is for every monster it will deal damage initial damage then blow up for the same amount of damage and the blow up has an area of effect which means that it can attack monsters next to it as well so if you are an, if you are able to pull up to 8 which is the max mobs you can hit with lovely sting and blow it up it means you're basically doing 8 times um, explosion damage plus the initial one so basically you're doing 9 times uh, 9 times the damage it does so that's awesome you only need it like level 1 level 1 still does quite a bit of damage uh, but I maxed it up anyway because you're going to spend a lot of skill points after but uh, early game when you max up your your um, your passive spells you don't actually have to increase this by much it still does a lot of damage at earlier levels so third job over here now this one's a little bit special uh, for heavily crash and uh, shining star burst uh, you guys know it as, or some of you guys might know it as Heavenly Crash then Shining Star Burst straight after but the thing about it is if you can't kill them with one Heavenly Crash and one Shining Star Burst then what you can do is you can um, instead of that, instead of doing just one and then it's your air move you can do one, two, then your air move because it will still do double damage because that is how long they are launching air for however if you can't, if you still can't kill with that combination of double hammer and one air, what you can do is a uh, hammer air hammer, then wait 0.5 seconds, then hammer air again, and that should kill them off. Now the thing about it is, hammer air hammer air. The second one will not do its double damage if you spam it that quickly. So you do actually have to do hammer hammer air hammer wait 0.5 seconds, then hammer air again. That's the only way you can pull off it and I uh, get double damage on the second shot. Now, uh, that is a combination for third job, it's a little bit more, um, this one's a little bit for bossing I would assume because I had a comment in the last video showing saying that Soul Seek and Trinity works in a nice combination, both of them hit, well both of them has the potential to do a lot of damage on one target, so what you can do is spam your Spam your soul not soul seeker. Uh, spam your yeah, it's soul seeker. Spam your soul seeker and follow up with your Trinity. So, um, I'm not gonna pull off Trinity too much because what's it called? I don't have too much on Affinity Four. But basically, after you're done with that, you can use your your um Trinity after with soul seeker. And if you're versing one target, it'll basically keep respawning the soul seeker again and again. And you have about ten bouncing around on one target, followed with Trinity, which will allow you to minus its ignore its defense as well as increase the trinity damage so that's basically a combination soul seeker and trinity spam at the same time and uh, that will do a lot of damage on one single target but that's basically my quick video for now uh, and I'll be seeing you guys later so see you later